Hello friends, welcome to Engineer Boys YouTube channel. My name is Isil Khan and in this video we are gonna talk about the concrete mix design. Remember concrete mix design is the process of finding the ratio of ingredients of concrete. Like you may have seen or heard different ratio per concrete on site like 1 to 4, 1 3, 6, 1 5, 10, etc. So concrete mix design is the decision of selecting a best ratio per concrete. And there are many methods to decide a best ratio per concrete. Like you can say the water cement ratio method, the fineness modulus method, arbitrary method, minimum voids method, maximum density method, absolute volume method, etc end up thinking capacity sorry etc means etc not end up thinking capacity all right so these methods can be used to determine a best ratio per concrete and i'll try to bring separate videos for all these methods this time my approach is the minimum voids method so let's talk about the minimum voids method over here and actually based on this method, particles should be selected to pile up the voids between large particles with smaller particles and so on. Like you can say based on this method, little more fine aggregates will fill the voids of coarse aggregate and little more binding material or cement you can say will fill the voids of fine aggregates or sand. So this is just the basic concept of minimum voids method. And how much or how many little more? This is just 15%. I have seen this in many books. And this is actually not the concert video, I'm sorry. But mostly, little more pine aggregate must be 15%. And little more binding material, that's 10% only. I hope you understand the basic concept of minimum wires method of concrete mix design. So I'll come directly now into an example to understand the problem better. And the example terms are just like in this palm. Test result shows 36% wires in crust stone and 28% in coarse sand design the mix per concrete. Over here directly I'll come into solution because there is nothing complicated over here and we'll make just a supposition over here. Let's suppose if the total volume of mix concrete is 1 cubic meter. You can suppose any video, right? You can suppose 1 CFT, you can suppose uh, 100 CFT, you can also suppose 100 cubic meter, no problem. Now if you see whites in crust stone are 36%, this means 0.36 cubic meter are whites in crust stone. Once we have the whites in crust stone and palm of cubic meter, then of course we can calculate the volume of cement and sand to pell the whites. And this must be the wires in crust stone which is 0.36 cubic meter times 15%. Remember that slide. Let me show you once again over here. Little more pine aggregates will fill the wires of coarse aggregates. If you see, we have supposed that as uh, 15%. No problem. 1.15 means 1 cubic meter plus 15%. And the percent is just of course 15 divided by 100, no problem, right? So 0.36 times 1.15, that's just 0.414 cubic meter, which is the total volume of cement and sand. This is just the summation of cement and sand, right? Also, if you see from the example terms, the words and sand are 28% or you can say 0.28 cubic meter. So we can calculate the quantity of cement so easily. And this must be the volume of cement and sand to pell the wires of crust stone which is 0.414 cubic meter times the wires and sand times 10% if you remember from the previous slide of course. Just look at this. A little more binding materials will pell the wires of pine aggregates which is of course if you see 10%. So 0.414 0.414 times 0.28 times 1.10 this is just the quantity of cement which is 0.128 cubic meter. Now I can calculate the quantity of sand or pine aggregate and this is possible if you see the total cement and sand that's 0.414 cubic meter so I'll only subtract the quantity of cement which is 0.128 cubic meter and that's of course the quantity of sand which is 0.286 cubic meter that's quite simple right 
So we found only two things over here, cement and sand. And one is remaining over there, which is cross stone or coarse irrigate. And this is simple, of course. We'll only subtract the voids of cross stone from the total volume of mixed concrete. And that's one cubic meter minus 0.36, right? So we can get, of course, the quantity of cross stone equals 0.64 cubic meter. And finally, we got these three things, cement, sand, and crust stone. And you can also write these things in form of ratio, is a concrete ratio, you can say, cement, ratio sand, ratio crust stone. You can put those values over there, like the cement equals 0.128, sand equals 0.286, crust stone equals 0.64. But I'm not happy with this. Because you may have seen 124, 136, 1.153, like in that form the ratio, right? Which means always cement is one over there. So we'll divide the total ratio by the ratio or the quantity of cement. Like we'll divide these three things by 0.128. So we can get a nice ratio, which is 1 ratio, 2.23 ratio 5. But also I'm not happy over here. Because 2.23, this is not a good video over here. I'm a designer and uh, I'll make a decision over here now. If you see 2.23, this is so adjacent to 2.25 or you can say uh, this is a, a, a nice video if we uh, assume this is 2.5. That will be better I think. So. I'm a designer and uh, I'll make a decision over here like cement equals 1, sand will be 2.5 and cross stone will be 5. So we got a nice ratio per concrete over here. 1 ratio 2.5 ratio 5. Where 1 is cement, 2.5 is sand and 5 represents the ratio of cross stone and this is called the concrete mix design. Hey, you are now a designer, you can do it. I hope you like the video. Make sure you thumbs up and hit the subscribe button. Subscribe, subscribe. Thank you dears for watching. See you next time. Hello, salam.